Uh, lovely chemtrail ridden morning. Not that the, any of these demons will care about it, because they're just fucking sub-animals. And it's time to just make that perfectly clear in my daily walk. These are all sub-animals. They're, uh, they're not men and women. They're sub-animals. Demon is too good a word for them. They're scum. They're Jewish slaves at best. Right? Paying the devil with their Jewish dollars. Worshipping their Jewish rabbis. That's it. Now, yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful walk. Still fucking demonic cold here in the middle. Uh, we got Passover coming up at the end of the week, I noticed on the calendar, which is all based on infanticide, right? Because the Jewish religion is all about infanticide, patricide, matricide, right? Killing and lying, everything and everyone. Sisters and brothers fucking each other, killing each other. Just the most perverted possible things. That's what Judaism is all about, right? Right. No man or woman abides that type of shit. You don't want to be around these sub-animal scum. I can just smell their stink at their houses. It's, it's nice that nature provides such wonderful aromas and medicine. Get away from the stink, get above the stink of these so-called humans. What about the shades passing across the earth? They work for 50 years, they have no fucking nothing to offer anyone. Like, uh, I'm dead and dumb, my colon doesn't work properly. <laughs> But I, I did what I was supposed to do. Motherfucker, get to work. That's, that's their whole lives. All sociopaths, all pathological liars. They couldn't tell you fucking whether they took a shit or piss in the bathroom, honestly. Because demons will lie given every opportunity. It's always to their advantage to do so. Right? So, so is sociopath, sociopath, so the world. Lies, lies, lies. And there are a lot of true men and women out there are just surrounded by that. So I decided to take a longer walk into Qualicum here because I haven't done this for a while. This reminds me of my first novel, which is loosely inspired by this particular little canal here. I was writing, finishing writing the book, actually. My mom and dad were living together briefly at a house on this road nearby. It was absolutely like a, an awful situation, as it turned out, because... These people are sub-animals, including my mom and dad. I now understand that my mom is demonic, you know, but I'm trying to have a happy home as much as I can, but I don't think she'll, she'll ever, never be able to, you know, the, the, the female, the so-called female demons hate men, and the so-called male demons hate women. You know, they all hate each other. They hate anything that is manly. They hate anything that's actually womanly. That's why feminism is basically just the hatred of men and women. Christianity is the hatred of men and women. Judaism is the hatred. Right? All the religions are the hatred of men and women. Environmentalism is the hatred of men and women. All these people do is hate everything that man and woman is. Their whole lives, all their work, all their jobs, all their language, all their inner thoughts, all of their so-called fucking lives is about hating everything that is true and honest about man. Hate is their middle name, their first name. And you might say, well, the world is very deceptive and it's, it's uh, coerced them into a devilish system. No, they're happy with it. They are monsters. They were born monsters. There's very few true people left on the earth. This is what my, my warlock uh, mentor has taught me. Very, very few. Maybe tens of thousands. Maybe a few million, I don't know, spread out over the world. Look at what their little demon children write. Less pollution is the best solution. Rowan. Hey, I never thought of spelling my son's name that way. That's actually a really nice spelling of Rowan. Isn't that funny I'd come along that today? I keep wondering how to spell that name. I'd love to call my son Rowan. That is a great name. And I thought if I had a daughter, her name would be Erlen. They got some fucking demons up here. Some sub-animals. Oh! Brush the sub-animals away. <laughs> you could just brush those sub-animals out of your life. Just brush those sub-animals out of your life. Listen to those birds. It's worth it just to record that, isn't it? This is a nice trail, just through here. 
This goes on to Fern Road. It's usually pretty quiet. Now, the birds, that's, an, that's a closer thing to manhood than all the noises these people ever make. Excellent. Right, and they're happy to pay their illegitimate taxes and their licensing fees, right? So they can carry out the lie of owning a home. <laughs> All sub animals. They love glittering things, they love money, they love their traditions, their beliefs, they love living their lives the way that everyone else does. All that type of stuff. Nothing that natural people would do. <laughs> Yeah, so I've made some, I've had to make some firm determinations in my life as far as all that goes. I'll get back to you in a second.